name is Lori Birch, and I'm making a recording of an interview with Greg Nailman about his business. So, Greg, tell me a little bit about how you got started in photography. Well, um, I started in high school and then continued in college. And then after I got out of college a couple years later, I decided to go full-time, go professional. And um, so now I've been in the business for a little over 40 years and um, still loving it. Fantastic. Um, do you still use some of the cameras that you had when you first started out? No. Um, I still have some, but we don't, everything we photograph now is with digital. Oh, sure. We have no more film cameras that we use. Um, mm -hmm. Times have changed. Technology's changed. Sure. Um, Matter of fact, some places you can't even get film anymore. And um, everything that, like say the uh, four by five cameras and the house of blods now all have digital backs and mm -hmm. uh, Nikons and cameras, uh, Canon have all gone into digital. So, um, and we were kind of first on board when digital came out been changing and trying to stay up with it um, each year and so it's been interesting. Oh definitely. Um, I think I had a digital camera, excuse me, I had a digital camera uh, that I bought, geez I can't remember, maybe in the 90s. Yeah. Um, I paid it was just a little camera for me to use, right? I paid $800 for it. In fact, I can tell you it was in 1998 because I bought it for my son's wedding so I could take digital pictures. And uh, I paid $800 for it. And at, um, I didn't, it didn't even make it to the wedding. At, at a, a pre-wedding event, it got knocked off the counter and that was the end of that mm -hmm. whole camera. Said, oh. Buy another one. Yeah. Oops. Um, <clears throat> so, but it's great that uh, you're still, you're still passionate about what you do, but you, your business has changed. I think you told me um, you don't do. Uh, we don't do weddings anymore, mm -hmm. nor do we do high, high school portraits. I just don't have the tolerance for that. Um, Mm -hmm. We still do commercial work, family work. Matter of fact, I just looked a family portrait uh, this morning, large family. And mm -hmm. uh, mm. Um, I do dogs ah. and events. So mm -hmm. that's kind of where my forte and I've been moving into more fine art photography lately. So that's kind of my move. Yeah. After um, we've done quite a few weddings, and there's a time to step away from them. And, uh, yep, they're pretty intense. I know, I know. So, uh, and they they tie up all your weekends. So, yeah, mm. it's for um, people who haven't been doing it for a while, maybe. Um, tell me a little bit about the fine art side because uh, I don't think we've talked about that at all and I'm curious um, well I do more of my competition shots mm. are related to fine art and um, a lot of our like I said award winning photos have been a result of fine art photography wow and, I mean I've used couples I've used weddings before Mm -hmm. number of different things that um, um, we did quite well in competition. Um, but sometimes uh, now with the more of the fine art is uh, 
and it's also being at the right place at the right time. Sure. And sure. Um, kind of setting up everything prior to the shot so everything goes well. Wow. Um, you, do you have a studio that you use? No, I am no longer. A, I got out of the studio a little more than 20 years ago. So okay. everything I do right now is on location. Family courts is a location. The one we booked this morning is going to be at the daughter's house. Beautiful setting. Um, beautiful interior. So we'll both be doing both indoor and outdoor photos. Oh, that's but, lovely. Um, I'm not interested. I don't want to shoot. Have you book a family portrait and then you look at your neighbors and they have the same background? I don't want that. Sure. I want to. I want to incorporate something that you folks do and to personalize it. So, wow, we sold our boat. That's a shame. I, I, I'm trying to put together a, a family portrait, and I can't find the date when we're all together. Um, but we we did the thing we did the most as a family was boating, and we sold our boat a few years ago. And that's probably good because an accurate photo, photo of us would include. Um, muddy people with uh, soaking wet hair streaked with mud, probably from being out let's, in the river. Hey, <laughs> let's run a boat and get you out there, you know? Yeah, it really does sound like fun. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's funny when I do these interviews, I'm kind of shopping at the same time because I just love to, to learn. So um, I think from talking to you, um, it sounds like the competition shots and the fine art part of this is really where you're finding your passion these days. Right, right. Right, right. And, and dogs. I won't say pets because you're specific. Yes. Dog. Yes. Um, I'm hoping that uh, maybe when we're done here, you could share a picture or two with me that I could put on the website too, just to, to show, not sure. for any sure. other reason. But uh, that would be fun. Um, I asked the question about um, what advice you'd give to some young artists just starting out, what they should do to build a business. Well, to build a business, I th think first uh, try to get as much education and as much knowledge about the subject as you can. Attend seminars and webinars and um, try to learn. Mm -hmm. And then if there's somebody out there that's really interested, um, I have no problem having them give me a call and I can review what some of their work and give them, critique some of their work and mm -hmm. give them some direction. Um, and I've done that with a number of photographers. So, um, if there's anybody out there that wants to learn, give me a holler. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, because with all of your experience, I would think that would be really pretty useful for somebody just starting. It would save them maybe some of the pitfalls that uh, you would have run into or new ones they could find for themselves, right? Right, right. Right. Um, I noticed that you, you use the word we a lot when you talk about your business. Is, um, are you solo or do you have someone who works with you? Um, when I use we, I mean me and I. Oh, it's, that's okay. Uh, that's okay. I'm we. We. Well, that's okay. I just wasn't sure whether it was uh, you and an assistant or. No, uh, I work by myself. You work by yourself. Yep. Yep. And it's a great business because it's flexible. Right. Right. You want a day off, you just take it. Right. There's times that I have marked off in the calendar that uh -huh. um, I don't know what I'm going to do that day, but probably more of nothing than anything else. Ah. So mm -hmm. um, you need some free time just, just to kind of clear the air, clear your head. I'm sure that's true. I'm finding that true in my business as well. Time away is just as important. Um, I was thinking about the business, um, your business, and um, 
I mean, 40, 40 years is a long time to be in a business successful that you built really from the ground up for yourself. Um, besides education and a little bit of money to buy really, really good lenses, what else do you need? I'm thinking qualities like persistence. Well, you, the, the best thing is I can suggest is when you're buying equipment, buy the best that's out there. Mm -hmm. um, you go cheap, you get cheap. Mm -hmm. Doesn't work, you're going to be replacing it anyway. And um, you can use the lenses for quite a few years. You're probably changing mm -hmm. the body, especially digital. Um, you're probably changing the body every two years because of the upgrades and the technology. Um, um, but in lighting, just save your mm -hmm. money and buy the best you can. Um, how did you, how did you get your contacts? Since your business is um, not so much consumer driven, right? It, uh, well, I mean, you do family portraits, but no weddings. So how did you get your contacts in commercial photography? Commercial photography, usually I go out by myself or, or sometimes I'll get uh, a notice that someone's looking for an event oh. or robotic photography. But a lot of times with the commercial, I've made the initial contact. Oh, uh, right. With those companies. And, mm -hmm. and we built a rapport from there. And, mm -hmm. um, so, and... We've done quite a few companies in the tri-state area. Uh, we do travel to Chicago mm -hmm. um, and uh, Minnesota and um, Illinois. You mind, can you name a couple of your customers? Sure, so some of the people. Or... We've photographed for John Deere okay. corporate uh, out of uh, Moline. Ah. Um, we shot for Ertl Toy Company. We shot um, um, for Mighty M um, and a number of different companies around town. So, which is, and we still do, so. Right. Wow. Um, it's been a pleasure to meet you. Um, do you have any other thoughts that you'd like me to put on my Park Bench website for my readers if you need a family portrait you need commercial work you got a puppy you want uh, photographed give me a call absolutely i have a puppy <laughs> that i can do <laughs> well thank you greg um i appreciate your time today and uh, we'll be back in touch once we get this in viewable form thanks for call for calling and thanks for the the little webinar here all right. I appreciate it. Thanks again. Right. Take bye -bye. care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.